Hi, what's up everybody? Mike Wienerbach here talking about the beginning of time. No, the beginning of a set or a rep. So the beginning of a rep is really, really critical because if you are using not what you're supposed to be using, you're throwing off your entire set and potentially workout. What do I mean by this? Very often you see something like this. People doing a curl, they're well intended and all so on and so forth, but they do this, okay? So now this is a front raise with some bicep. Stay back, activate the bicep, and pretty much nothing else, and also curl up here. So by the same token, very often when people do chest, they, the first thing they do is they roll the shoulders forward, okay? Now, that being said, now you're doing more of a shoulder press than anything else. Like, what you want to do is you want to pinch the shoulders back and work from here. So setup of an exercise is really critical because that puts you into the position where you're working your target muscle as opposed to, you I'm going to the gym and I'm working out. Those are two very different things, okay? So, let's say you're doing a lat pull down and uh, you may not have this awesome grip, but we do, so there's that. And, uh, you know, for a lot of people, it's something like this, which is basically a bicep curl with some lat engagement, okay? What you want to do is always think, what is the muscle I want to train and what does it do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? From kindergarten come, right? So you're doing this. The lats, they kind of go forward and do like so, right? So you want to be in a position where you kind of move the elbow forward and then downward, okay? Now, the biceps will get engaged and, and that's okay, but the primary mover will be your lats and that's what matters. Now, with the leg press, again, that goes toward incompetence of certain people. People are just so brainwashed that they believe they have to go like whatever the machine permits, like here, something like this, right? So like in this position, I cannot activate my quads to move up, right? So you only want to go down what you can pull down actively, which is for me something like this. Then I would drive it back up. So if I start down here, it's not going to get me anywhere. And then one that gets butchered a lot is the side raise. So the side raise, you know, people, 90% of the people go too heavy. Like, when I'm at the gym and I see somebody grabbing 30s, I'm like, not happening. Not, and, and sure enough, it's some sort of like, you know, ostrich running away, looks like. So in slow motion, this is what people do. They shrug up and then bring the hands forward, okay? So now you did half a shrug, half a front raise, which is great if you're doing shrugs and front raises, but your goal was the side raise, right? which you just missed by about 500 miles. So here, and again, what I want to do, I want to use my medial delt, just like this. Slightly in forward, off it goes. And then tricep press downs, it's, you know, the triceps, they go like so, in a slight diagonal. Now, the moment, I'm doing anything like this, my front delts will come in and work. So again, there's the origin and the insertion, and I'm shoving them together. That's all I'm trying to do. So as I said in the video about the end of the uh, rep, the beginning is also, in, it's also important because in the beginning of the rep, we're pretty weak, right? So like our lats are stretched, pecs are stretched, so our bodies, they are meant to survive, not to body build. So your body says, hey Richie, I got this, and I'm lifting the weight. But what the body doesn't understand is that we, you and I, the bodybuilders, have different ideas. So what, what we want to do is we want to work a specific muscle, okay? So you have to constantly correct yourself until you get the execution down where you are, you know, only using that muscle and not just shoving the weight up and down. 
And that's the difference between somebody who looks great and somebody who's injured. If you need somebody competent to help you coach, I'm your guy. Mike out.